The Pittsburgh Pirates are one of the MLB's most exciting young teams. They started the season off hot, but they started to flame out after meeting the Rays in early May. With talents like Brian Reynolds, Mitch Keller, and O'Neill Cruz, and young prospects such as Henry Davis, Andy Rodriguez, and of course, Tamar Johnson, they have a very bright future. They also had the first overall pick, and with that, they drafted LSU superstar Paul Skeens. Using these talents, I think we have the opportunity to make this team into a dynasty. But first things first, honestly, I don't know. Right now, it shows Andy Rodriguez and Henry Davis both as MLB players, but I do not know if they're both ready for that yet. I think we can have Henry Davis start in the MLB as of right now. But we are going to move Andy Rodriguez down to AAA to develop a little bit for us. Um, And I think with that, we are ready to start simming to the draft. I will scout a little bit and see if anything interesting does happen. All right. We have been offered Paul DeJong for Jared Jones. I think in a vacuum, this is a good trade. But Jared Jones, I think, is a solid pitching prospect for us. And he's a lot more expensive. Plus, if O'Neill Cruz can stay healthy, I think he is the guy that we want to have starting at us for shortstop long term. So I am going to decline this trade. And probably in the case that O'Neill Cruz does get injured, we can probably just sign um, Ruben Chapman to a probably a one-year deal, 70 million if he accepts. We can go 80 mil, and he will play backup shortstop for us. Platooning, of course. We start off kind of hot, 6-2 and two, if I recall, but we are down to 25-30, and 30, which is not the greatest record. We can see how our prospects are doing as of right now. Catching Henry Davis and Henry Rodriguez are still about even. They're both pretty cold. Paul Skeens is up to a 70 overall. He is in AAA. He could probably be in the MLB by September for us. And we could have one of the best pitching rotations in the league, in my opinion. We do have a great closing pitcher, of course. And then Tamar Johnson stayed about the same, but it does look like he is improving. All right, it is the draft, and it is time to set up our draft board. I do like a lot of these guys. Um, Primarily that um, shortstop. I don't know much about any of the rest. There's a right fielder that I think I did scout. He probably is not very good. But yeah, this, this shortstop, it's a lot of starting pitchers. But I think we can take... Alex Myers here. He does look very solid. He is 22, but he can play third base for us because we do have our shortstop and second baseman of the future. We can try and move him to third base, and we should be fine as far as that goes. So we are going to go to the draft, and I think Alex Myers is a pretty easy pick for us here at first. What a beard, too. Very hot, man. No homo. And then, I'm assuming this is one of the starting pitchers. Yeah, Alexi Anya. He was probably my second option. He also looks very solid. And then I'm sure this is a pitcher, too. There is also a solid catcher, but we do have two great catching prospects on our roster already. So I kind of opted out of him. Yeah, this is a pitcher as well. It is a very pitcher-heavy draft. I honestly would not be surprised if there were just a bunch of pitchers here. Yeah. A lot of pitchers in the top 10. At 42, we can probably go after a starting pitcher. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna go after Johnny Moda. And probably sim the rest of the draft. I doubt we have any home run dirty derby contestants. We do not. It is going to be Aaron Judge, Pete Alonso, Mike Trout, an obvious three, Jose Altuve, Willie Adamas, Juan Soto is also a shoe in. Corey Seager and CJ Krohn. And then for the All Star game, I doubt we have any starters we can check. Um, if we go to organizations games and player lock, we can see here. We do have Key Brian Hayes starting for us at third base, which is cool. How old is he actually? 26. We could honestly probably trade um, one of our prospects, the second base prospect, for some tools while we develop... Um, our first overall pick. Um, as you can see, we are not doing great. Bautista went to the Marlins, which is pretty cool. We are about 48 and 54. And if we go... We can look at this. David Bednar. I don't want to trade him, to be honest. Ben Brown does not look great. And then this right fielder is kind of mid. Yeah, we never take that. We don't care that much about the trade deadline. We are 49 and 59. Not a great record at all. If we go to the draft picks, 91 potential, 73 overall to start. He looks really good. Johnny Moda could be decent for us in the future. And then Luis Zapata is awful right now, but he could develop into something maybe when he's like 29. I'm not sure. We could honestly, in the offseason, try and trade. Um... Tamar Johnson, he is not developing as fast as I would hope. So that might be a move that we have to make. But I will see you guys in September call-ups where we likely call up Paul Skeens. All right, we are at September call-ups. We are going to call up Paul Skeens, but to do that, we need to make room on the 40-man roster. We are going to remove probably these bottom two guys in order to call up Paul Skins, and then who else do we want? We can go to double, triple A roster. Mike Gonzalez doesn't look bad. He has B potential. He could probably develop for us in second base at the major league level. And then there's someone we have to add. We have to add someone to our 40-man roster, and I think it might as well be the best guy that's not on it, which will be Vince Velasquez, I suppose. I'll see you guys in the postseason. We are not making playoffs. What a lame World Series. The Dodgers have defeated the Yankees. If we can stop simming, which we can, we can look at awards. I don't think we really won anything. But we can check... Brian Hayes got second in Gold Glove third base. I think that might be our only reward. Connor Joe got third in Gold Glove right field. And that is all we got. We did have a league leader. Mitch Keller led the league in strikeouts, which is cool. I'll see you guys in the offseason. All right. Our pitching coach's contract did expire. And with um, Paul Skeens in our farm or in the major leagues now we definitely need to sign someone and i think jeff thorpe might be the best option so we're gonna go after him and then we need a farm director and i think that'll be really important too as we do have a lot of prospects coming up for us so we're gonna try and get him and hopefully he accepts they both do which is great and as far as free agency goes I think this might be one where we want to go after Shohei as well. He probably does not re not really want to come here. If we give him 11 years, maybe, 12 years, see what he thinks. It's a lot of money to spend on one guy, though. I'll be right back when I finish figuring out who we want to sign. We're going to give Mike Sunino a four-year, $14 million 
uh, four year, fourteen million dollar offer. He's gonna platoon eventually for us, but we do want him while our other two catching prospects develop. We did also offer Blake Trinan. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Artelise Chapman and then Matt Moore. And obviously we offered Shohei a little bit, which might be an overstatement. I think we do want to grab Hunter Renfro maybe if he wants to come on a one-year deal. See if that's an option for him. And then I think other than that, we do want to save some of our money. So we're probably going to sit for the rest of free agency, see what happens. One day later, and we do grab Shohei, which is awesome. And we'll see where we can go from here. The rest of them, we did get Hunter Renfro. Very cool. O'Neal Cruz came back. We'd get, we did get Zanino and Artelise Chapman. Um, this reliever, I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try. Also came, and we got Matt Moore as well. We did get everyone we wanted, so I will probably send it to the, what's it called? The Draft Lottery. And I will see you guys there. Nobody seems to want Aaron Nola, so if he's going to be this cheap, I mean, we might as well give him a two-year deal, try and, give him, try and get him into the rotation. And it is about time for the Rule 5 draft. This is the lottery. We have a very low chance at a top pick, but we can see if we do end up winning anything. We do land pick three, going up five slots, which is awesome. We have a top three pick for this next draft, and I am ecstatic. And then, that's fine. We don't care that much. Rule five draft. With number eight, there's not a lot of guys here that really matter. We can go Alex Reyes here. Actually, no, let's grab Chris Boot. No, he's a starting pitcher. We don't need those. Um, actually, if I could look at our starting pitchers. We're fine in that department. Skeens is our lowest rated, but he will be up very high pretty soon. I think we got to go Alex Reyes here. Actually, no, our starting pitching is not great. We have Shohei, Mitch Keller... Um, can we see our starting pitchers? No, our starting pitching is fine. I am on crack. We are going to go with probably Garrett Clevenger here. Was it that hard? No, it wasn't. I will see you guys in spring training, I suppose. All right. We got offered Matt McLean for Nick Gonzalez. I am honestly completely fine with this trade. I'm going to accept. Matt Chapman does go to the Twins. Very cool. And we are in spring training. This is what our roster is looking like for year two. It is not bad at all. I do expect a playoff appearance from this one. Kanan Smith and Jake Butt is our starting first baseman. That is not something I am particularly happy to see. Hopefully it will change when we get to the regular season. And it is Matt McLean. Um, I'm honestly fine with that. Tamar Johnson is our third second baseman. What is our rookie looking like? Um, he's a shortstop. And he is up to a 73 overall. Very cool. I will see you guys when we get to probably the all-star break. I might be making a bit of a mistake here. Jason Chorio is, in real life, the third prospect, I think, in the league. And then Nick Sandlin is a great relief pitcher. Um, so we are probably going to trade Tamar Johnson for the two of those players. If this is a multi-year rebuild, if we do like a part two or something, this might be a bit of a mistake. But I'm fine with that trade. 
I think in the future it will end up favoring both teams. All right, we're about at the all-star break. Paul Skeens is up to his 74 overall. Very cool. Henry Davis and Andy Rodriguez are still both 71 overall, but they are catching Mike Zunino. Zun uh, Mike Zunino. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Second base still doesn't look great. Honestly, once it comes September, we could honestly call up Alex Myers and have him play second base for us. Left field is looking great with Brian Reynolds. And then Hunter Renfro is on the IL, which is unfortunate at right field. That might be a bit of an issue. Jack Swinski playing fine at center field for us. And then I'm assuming Juan Bay is playing right field for us while we wait for Hunter Renfro to come back. But the draft is right up close here. We are just above 500. We will see who we can land. Keith Payne looks very good. I think he is the main guy that we want to target. Josh Rowe is a guy that we can probably land in the second round, to be honest. And then... Um... I mean, if Keith Payne gets taken, we can probably target Chris Ott or... I don't know. All the rest of these guys look kind of bad. So we will probably just hope... Keith does fall to us at three. He definitely will. I don't know what I'm worrying about. All right. The Rockies at one. I just hope they don't take Keith Payne. I mean, he's the best guy in this draft. I think. We didn't scout the number one guy. Mikey Smith doesn't look bad. I personally wouldn't take a starting pitcher first overall I mean obviously I do have Paul Skeens but I don't know Keith Payne did get taken second which is extremely unfortunate for us I think here now we have to take Chris Ott we don't have him fully scouted so we're kind of taking a shot in the dark here hopefully it pans, pans out And that is something we'll have to see. And then if we go to the Pirates' next pick, we do not have a pick in round two. So we are going to take... Actually, we could hope Josh Rowe falls to pick 82. He probably will. So I think we will just throw a flyer at Mark McGee here. And hope and pray Josh Rowe does fall to us. He did not. That was a mistake. Um, I think here we just go for Arturo Chacon. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that. My bad. Um, I'm curious who took our first baseman. If it was even like relatively close. If we can go back. Josh Rowe did go at 40, so he did make a mistake. People did scout. Um, I don't care too much about the rest of the draft. We are just going to sim it. And then the home run derby. I doubt we have anyone. We do not. You can see who it is, though. Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Patrick Wisdom. Giancarlo Stanton, Corey Seager, Rowdy Tellez, Christopher Morel, and Juan Soto. Very cool. And then Shohei is obviously going to be a shoe in for the All Star team. Bo Bichette went to the Guardians. Very interesting. Um, All Star voting. Shohei is a starting pitcher in the All Star team. David Bednar is a starting or a closing pitcher voted in to the All Star team. Xander Bogarts is a Padre. I'm losing my mind. I saw the yellow and got excited there. Shohei is our starting left fielder. Kind of crazy that people have him playing left field. He is a DH. And that is all we got.
got some pictures and that's it. Um, what is our record looking like? We are just above 500. Not in the wild card, obviously. One game out. I meant we are not leading our division. We are one game out of the wild card, so we have to step it up a little bit here. And that is not how I do it. Jesus. Kind of curious now. What does this look like? If we go to lose standings, wild card, we are now four games back. That is not good at all. Um, we could probably try and make some trades, but I do not want to use that brain power right now. I will see you when I decide to use my brain. All right, this is a bit of a regretful move. I kind of want to check what is his contract looking like. We will have him until the end of this rebuild. So I think we are going to trade Yandy Diaz. Trade for Yandy Diaz. We are going to give up Henry Davis, which is unfortunate. But Henry Rodriguez is playing well right now. And they are really about the same as far as hitting goes. They are about the same player, it looks like. Um, Henry Davis is a little bit faster. A little bit bigger as well. But um, as far as hitting goes and defense goes, they're about the same. So I'm going to send him, Kanan Smith and Jigba, and... Matt Gorski for Yandy Diaz. Hopefully he will help the team a little bit so that we can make a playoff push late into the season. All right, that flyer on Chris Ott ended up being a very, very good decision for us. He is 80 overall, off rip, 99 potential. Reminds me a bit of someone um, from the Royals rebuild, Brent Estes. Go back and watch. Very fun rebuild. Going to do a part two eventually. As well as with Chris Ott, now I am inclined to further Paul Skeen's career and add Chris Ott to this as well. This guy looks insane. He can only play second base, but that is completely fine. 18 years old, 99 potential, 80 overall. He is going to be a stud for us in year three. But I am curious about that first baseman for the Tigers. See how he actually ended up being. Josh Rowe, 86 potential. I'm fine with not landing him. Our scouts did not do their job. Um, it was all on me, but we did fine getting Chris Ott. Very happy. If you look at our month of August, with all of these wins after trading for Yandy Diaz, it looks like it was a very beneficial trade for us. And I am happy we made it. If we go to September call-ups... There are two big guys that I want to call up if they haven't been already. Which is going to be Andy Rodriguez. It looks like he has been. But we are going to send up... Um, if I can use my brain. Alex Myers is going to the majors. He is a 77 overall now. We are going to add him to the 40-man roster. Bring him to the majors. And then... I think... Who else is in AAA for us? Um, we could use a reliever. We're going to bring up Garrett Clevenger. It doesn't look like we can bring him up to the majors, though, which is very weird. I don't know what's wrong with that. Um, uh, Jose Hernandez, I suppose, would be fine for us. So I think that is the move we are going to make. Now, if we send to postseason, I'll chill here with you guys. We do got a bit of a streak. We could honestly end up... No, we can't win the division. But we could get second, probably. Um, let's see what happens. We didn't make the postseason? A little bit shocked we were one game back, unfortunate. I do think we can definitely make the postseason with this year three roster, getting that second baseman. Um, probably end up trading, keep Ryan Hayes or O'Neill Cruz, either of which works. I think we will keep O'Neill Cruz, preferably, if we do, do end up doing a part two, which we probably will. Um, we could bring Alex Myers to third base, and then Christopher Ott will play second base for us. Very excited about this team. 
probably not going to end up spending too much money because we will definitely do a part two now. And we can see whatever signings we end up making in the offseason. Shohei led the league in home runs. Yandy Diaz led the leading bat league in batting average. Very cool. And slugging percentage. And OBP. Very good trade for us. I'm happy we made it. And then awards. Um, Yandy Diaz won Hank Aaron. Shohei won MVP. And Yandy won the batting title. Very good trade. I think it was well worth giving up those prospects. All right. And free agency. I don't think we want to go after a big name. We do want a center fielder. And I think looking at keeping everything... In consideration, I think Victor Robles is our best option. Probably give him an everyday deal for as cheap as possible. Probably $24 million. Looks fine. And probably others, some other cheaper guys we want to go after. But I will see you when that decision is made. We did get Victor Robles, which is very cool. AJ Minter and Hunter Renfro are still deciding on offers. Hunter Enfro might regress, so honestly, we're giving a two-year deal, which is fine. We're going to sim a little bit. Do we just cancel that offer? I don't know what happened. But it probably doesn't matter. It's probably a shitty offer anyways. Corbin Burns is a Red Sox. Pete Alonso is a Cub. Brandon Woodruff is an Angel. Willie Adamas is a Tiger. Shane Bieber does go to the Dodgers. Which is interesting. Correa was traded to the Braves for some bums, but Correa is a bum as well. So, I mean, honestly, a pretty fair trade, in my opinion. Draft lottery, we have a two percent, point two percent chance at the first overall pick, but we can see what happens. And we are staying put at eighteen. We did get AJ Minter, but we are still waiting on a decision from Hunter Renfro. So we'll have to see what happens. Juan Soto went to the Tigers. Tigers are having a very solid offseason here. Rule 5 draft. Honestly, probably not going to sign anyone or draft anyone important. We don't even have a pick. What am I here for? Goodbye. Um, we can go to arbitration hearings here. Reese Hoskins is a Yankee. Nolan Arenado is a Dodger. Two super teams are stacking up. Hold on. Did that say the Rays got Renfro? No, it didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but we did get everyone we wanted, so I'm happy. We need a center fielder still. Honestly, though, I don't think that's taking into account what's-his-face. So, we can go to spring training and see where our roster stands. Um, we're obviously going to re-sign Paul, and we can give him 750k. That's fine. And then, Andy Rodriguez, we can give for 800k, because he will be the catcher of the future for us. And then once we get here, um, Victor Robles it should be starting at center field. I'm not sure why he isn't. Um, we can honestly, if we look at second base, man, Chris Ott is the best one. We're going to move him to triple A for now for a couple months and see where we go from there. And our catcher, Andy Rodriguez, is up to a 73. He is going to pass Mike Zinino very quickly here. Yandi hopefully performs at the level he has been. Chris Ott should be starting by the All-Star break. And then shortstop, O'Neill Cruz, I'm fine with. Alex Myers, we are going to edit player. Um, where do I do this? General? We give him primary position, third base, 
and then these are going to be his secondaries. We do not want to lose it, so we're going to click finish. And if we go to third base, Alex Myers is there at 77 overall. When we sim to draft day, we are not starting off hot. Um, this is not what we like to see at all. Not looking good here. Um, once we get to April or June, we are above 500 again late in the division. So it is better than I thought. But I think at this point, we are going to bring Chris Ott up to the majors. But first, we would have to... Actually, no, we're going to wait for the All-Star break. And if something bad happens, like we get passed by quite a bit, that would be unfortunate. But I think at this rate that we are going at, we could still be leading the division. We are going to the All-Star break on a decent streak, it looks like. Honestly, the center fielder hopefully falls to us. He probably won't. If he's draft rank 26, he could, but I doubt he will. The second baseman looks decent. Looks like he doesn't have any secondary positions, though. So, it might not be someone we entirely want. This guy we could look at, but I think that is it for us. I will see you at pick 18. All right. Frankie Self is the only guy available, so we are just going to end up taking him. I don't care really all too much about the rest of the draft. We can honestly just stack up on second baseman, I guess. I mean, not much else we can really do. And then the center fielder, I mean, why not? We're going to take him. And sim to the rest of the draft. Home run derby, do we have anyone? We do not. Yet again. Juan Soto on the Tigers, interesting. Jake Berger, Reese Hoskins, Marcelo Zuna, Spencer Steer, Corbin Carroll actually made it, which is very cool. Schwarbaum's Kyle Schwarber and Austin Riley. I do expect quite a bit of all stars though. Um Shohei Shuin. We got David Bednar again. And it looks like no actual players. Brian Reynolds made it, which is awesome. He's 30, but 89 overall, solid. And that is it for us. Um, Our offense looks decent. We might want to look into trading for a center fielder, though. Which we could look at... Honestly, where's Cedric Mullins? I'm not sure. Um, I will see you guys when I find a center fielder I want to trade for. Actually, no. We're going to stand pat. Our team is fine as is. Panicking over nothing. We are going to send up Chris Ott, though. And bring him. He is in the majors. Cool. I'll see you guys at September call-ups. Hunter Renfro is injured again for probably until September. This is not good for us. Matt McLean, Brian Reynolds, and Jake Swinski should be fine. I'm going to see if we have any free agents available. Michael A. Taylor might be someone we look at, but I think we're just going to sit where we are. We are doing fine in the standings. We just got to keep winning games. All right, Skeens is almost up to a 77. I just noticed this during the trade. It's a trade we likely won't make unless this shortstop is awful. Freddy, Freddy Tarnock and Mitch Jeb. I think this is a trade we are actually going to make. If we look back at our starting pitchers again, they're all decent. We got, like, really five guys in this rotation. It kind of ends at Paul Skeens. But just in case injuries do happen, I think this is a trade we will make. Accept. Not make, accept. We were offered the trade. We did not propose it. I am out of my mind. Um, We are 
about four games back. We are a game ahead in the wild card race. Um, I will see you in a bit. Hopefully you don't get overtaken. If anything interesting happens as far as standing go, standings go, I will see you guys there. It, it is the beginning of August. We did extend our wild card lead to two games. Um, it is not the greatest lead, but it is something we can hopefully keep. Our draft picks weren't great. We got a left fielder. He's only 50 overall, but he does have 86 potential. Here's a light pick. Frank Self, our first-round pick, the second baseman. He's 64 overall, 18 years old. His potential is decent, but I don't think he will ever pass Chris Ott. We could use him as a probably a trade asset in the future. All right. So we did have a red-hot ending to August. We are at September call-ups, and we are leading the wild card race. We are two and a half games back of the National League Central. And if we have some decent call-ups, we could honestly probably make it to hopefully the um you can probably bring up Travis Swaggerty. If we do have a solid month of September with these call-ups, we could probably pass the Cubs. All right. It doesn't look like we're going to pass the Cubs. Our September has been very on and off, but if we go to look at standings, we did clinch a wild card spot. So we're going to sim to postseason and see who we end up playing. We do play the Brewers, the Brew Crew. We are not going to quick manage the wild card unless we lose this game. We win. Hopefully you can sweep, and we do. We do play the Dodgers, which is very scary. Hopefully we can come out on top. We take a 1-1 tie in Game 2. We lose Game 3, so we are going to quick manage this Game 4 here. And it looks like Shohei is ready to pitch for us. So we are going to bring him in, and Paul Skeens will be our Game 5 pitcher. Hopefully... He ends up doing what we had hoped. Chris Ott is up to a 90 or 84 overall after his first season, which is awesome. Shohei needs to stop allowing runs here, please. We're going to let him pitch one more. And then bring in Clevenger. No, we're going to bring in Minter here. And hopefully we can get some runs here. We do tie it up. And we are going to bring in Bednar. And we need some runs here in the fourth. I will enter the game and see you if something interesting happens. He's in a line. They need him to get on base. Yeah, that's the key. You get on base, you divide that attention a little bit of the pitcher. All right. That is not a great fly out there. I tried to contact hit to get on. But we did not make solid contact there. Lever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. No sugarcoating it. Everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Hayes swings through it for strike one. All right. I wonder if there's any substitutions we can make here. Next offering is fouled back. Probably a little bit too late for that now. But one run game here. Alex Myers against a righty is probably not going to be the best for us. We can probably bring in Chapman, to be honest. It'll probably be the best decision for us here. And then for defense, we can bring in that first overall pick from two years ago. That is going to be a fly as well, sadly. And we are on our last out of the season with Andy Rodriguez. Pitches two outs. That is an excellent pace. Rodriguez swings through it for strike one. A one run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Out towards right. And that is going field. to be a fly out as well. That is the season. Very sad. But all is not lost because we will be bringing them back this. For, we will be bringing this back for a part two. I had so much fun rebuilding this team. And I think this team has a lot of potential to improve. Because if we sim to offseason. No. 
The Twins did defeat the Dodgers. Very heartwarming. I love the Twins. Hometown team. Shoya is still 99. Yandi is a regressing a little bit, but he is a solid part of this rebuild. He's the guy that we will need to re-sign. O'Neill Cruz is up to an 87. Keep Ryan Hayes is down to a 84. Regressing a little bit. Chris Sod is only an 84. Maybe if he wins an award, he will go up. Hunter Renfro is regressing. Probably not going to have him back in the part two. If we go to starting pitchers, Paul Skeen's got up to a 78. I can see him going up to maybe like an 85 when we do a part two of this. Andy Rodriguez is up to a 77, developing pretty well. Um, third baseman, Alex Myers is up to an 80. Probably going to pass Key Brian Hayes next year as far as Myers developing and Hayes regressing. O'Neill Cruz, we already looked at him, developing well. Brian Reynolds, he is up to a 90. He is only 30 years. He is already 30 years old, though. Victor Robles, not bad. Probably going to keep him around until we can improve. But he is going to be a cheap, solid option at center field for us in part two. Right field, we're going to need to replace Hunter Renfro at some point. Very badly. But that is the team. As far as lead le league leaders, Shohei led the league in in innings pitched and in runs, which is awesome. And awards. David Man Bednar won Delivery Man of the Year award. Shohei won Cy Young award, and then he also won MVP. I'm kind of curious as to who won Rookie of the Year. Chris Ott got second. Andrew Painter got first for the Reds, interestingly. Kind of unfortunate for Chris Ott. He is very good. Um, but he is going to be someone we ne will need to look out for in Part 2. Um, and then, as far as everything else goes, Key Brian Hayes did one gold glove third base. Brian Reynolds almost got gold glove left field. And that is all for our awards. Ryan Reynolds did very well on all fields, which is not super surprising because he is a 90, for, a 90 overall for us now. But that is going to be it for this Paul Skeens and honestly Chris Ott rebuild of the Pittsburgh Pirates. I will see you guys when I decide to do a part two for this. Peace.